and welcome to the ACL Throwdown first edition of 2017. What's up, Ryan Alessio with you, joined by Chris Screechum Meacham. Just want to say thank you real quick to our friends at E3Sports.com. They hook us up with all the jerseys. If you need some cornhole jerseys, you want to wear them out, make sure you check out their website, E3Sports.com. Scroll to the bottom left to the ACL link and an order form. And you can get yourself all your standard customized jerseys for the ACL events. Chris, how the hell are you, buddy? Man, I'm doing great. Thanks. Since the time we talked, you have gained one year younger and 20 years more beautiful. Oh, how thank about you. That? Sounds good to me. I appreciate that. So, how's your Christmas? How's your New Year's? Do you have fun? Oh, uh, yeah, man. Well, you know what? Uh, here, here's the thing about my New Year's from last year, okay? I, I moved. We know that, right? Yeah. So I'm used to living in a condo, right? And so every single year at New Year's, at midnight, I'm asleep. Old, I guess. I'm asleep. So in in the condo in Wilmington, all I hear is ta 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 firecrackers. You know, I wake up, hey, I'm here, firecrackers. Well, now I live in the country. About a quarter mile off a main road on a dirt road in the country. I live in the country. All right. Right. So I'm asleep. Me and the dogs asleep, and uh, and uh, all of a sudden I don't hear firecrackers. It sounds like World War Two. Everybody around here's got guns. Boom, boom, boom! Cannons going off. I mean, first I jump out of the thing. I'm like, I'm getting, going to get the double barrel myself. I'm thinking we're in a war. I'm going to start <laughs> shooting things. And uh, then I realized it's 12 o'clock. Oh, happy new year. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the main difference between the past 10 or so years and this year is I went from uh, Firecracker Central to World War Three, and, <laughs> and I was like, what in the world? I walked outside. I mean, I'm like, I want to go back in. It's not like people just shooting all over the place. But, wow. yeah, I had a good New Year's, and I hope you did as well. And now we're ready to kick this year off with some cornhole. Hey, you was talking about E3 Sports. Look, man. If you go, you can go get the. You can go get our shirts if you want to. That's where they came from. The ACL shirts. You can get the collar. You can get the jersey without it. You can also get four, your three of your buddies, and and sell. And look, they're, they're like fifty bucks, man, for a customized jersey. Fifty bucks. And and this is the best thing about it is, is you can go out and sell sponsorships. Go up to your local bait and tackle shop, your restaurants around your corner, anywhere that you that you frequent that knows play cornhole, bars, whatever, and say, look, you know, for ten bucks or twenty bucks, I'll put you, give me your logo, and I'll put you on my jersey. And every time you wear that jersey to all the tournaments that you go play in the ACL, you'll be sponsoring a local business. You don't have to sell it for ten bucks; you can sell it for fifty, make you a little profit, make you some entry fee money or whatever. And you can have up to five or six uh, logos on there as well, plus the ACL logo or a main one on the front, four or five on the back. And, and I mean, you can, you, you, it won't cost you a penny. All you have to do is go out there and sell sponsorships. People love to give you 10 bucks to put on a cornhole jersey that you're going to play, especially if you're going to be at Cobbs and you're going to be on ESPN3 and we interview. I mean, it's a win-win situation. And the only place you can get that – the ACL official customized logo jerseys is at e3sports.com. That's e3sports.com. So make sure you get it. Get Number those three. in as soon. Huh? Oh, yeah. Three. Number As three. Jamie Graham, Jamie Graham uh, Trevor Brooks, and Tyler Porth were to say the big three. <laughs> so, yeah, e3sports.com. Hey, you know what? That's a good point you bring up because, you know, you get that little $10 patch, you know, say I own a bar. And it's on the back of one of those ACL jerseys, and then it gets picked up by the cameras out there at uh, Harris Cherokee Casino Resort on ESPN3. Well, if you bought advertising on ESPN or any of their affiliates, it would probably cost you, oh, I would think you would be a 10 and a comma and then more zeros after it. But literally, you can get advertised not just nationwide because it's the Internet, it's the whole globe. Some guy from Pakistan could end up at your bar. You don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, no, no, you know. Let me frisk you first. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, you know, obviously. But, well, now that we're not going to be able to be seen in <laughs> Pakistan now, thank you very much. I guess we'll never have a tournament there. 
so tell me about I didn't I didn't get to go I didn't I know that uh, last time we spoke you know the details were coming up and you were telling me about this amazing place in North Carolina that you do the event and you bring your grills and everything so the ACL national number two tell me about what happened well 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 we had a good time it was a it was a real good time we uh we started off Friday night we had the crew cup we had 10 teams in the crew cup and uh, I actually played, Ryan. I actually put a team together. I'm mad I missed you playing. Oh, man. we Hey, I threw good. I threw really good. good. I, in fact, I surprised a lot of people, including myself. And uh, I, I put a great team together. Uh, Eric Ryder, Roger Wright, and Danny Blanks, three of the best players. They're good people. They're just great guys too, you know. And uh, and and they 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 were the they were the real three, and it was me. But they <laughs> held me under my wing, you know, put me under their wing, and, and we finished second place. And and we lost to probably the four best players, you know, that we could have lost to, which was uh, Jamie Graham, Tyler Porthers, two of the big three, and then uh, uh, Jimmy Allegra and Derek Holland, the machine. So. Yeah, we didn't lose to no cupcakes, and they beat us twice. So they put us in a losing bracket, and they knocked us out. But that, And then uh, a, the surprising team, well, not really a surprise. You can't say it, but there wasn't the big names on there. But my good friend, old Jeremiah DuPont, hot dog king of North Carolina, just happened to be uh, uh, in the third place, third place with his crew of Terry Tryon. Uh, I you guys names but I, I know them well not please don't get mad at me for forgetting but there were stacked teams all two of them were stacked uh after that point uh we had a huge blind draw and uh everybody who played everybody who played in the uh everybody who played in the in the crew cup also got in a ten dollar blind draw after that and uh what happened what happened with that was is throughout the rest of the uh throughout the rest of the weekend there was one person who seemed to be in the in the pictures of everybody's, and that was Kobe, new nickname, the Mac McGeever. So uh, he uh, won uh, blind draw doubles with uh, Eric Davis, uh, who another phenom kid. Both of them 14, 12, 13, 14 years old, walked through a stack field and won first place. Uh, after that, uh, uh, in the double, uh, in the doubles, when we went to Saturday, we had the uh, open singles, and then we had the open doubles in Jordan Camba, the Camba Combo, which is chicken tenders and French fries for five dollars. You can get it anywhere. It's a Camba Combo, just ask for the Camba Combo. Uh, he he came through. Uh, he came through and uh, defeated Frank Modlin for the uh, championship. Tyler Porthers finished third in the singles, and that was a stack field of 61, 62. And then we had a uh, competitive singles after that. And the way we did it was, it, it, you know, it, it, was, it was fun the way we did it. It was 0-2. If you went 0-2 in the open, you could buy into the competitive and make it more, you know, a bigger tournament. And uh, Ming Moore came out of the competitive bracket and uh, won that one. And uh, Ryan Johnson from Florida finished second in that one. So that was a good tournament as well. And then the doubles. Oh, by the way, the, the, uh, the Camba Combo was a double dip as well. Uh, all these double dips, man. We've had two nationals, and uh, almost every one of them has been a double dip to win a championship. Because in the doubles, the kid phenom, the young guns of North Carolina, North Carolina state champions two years in a row, uh, Kobe the Mac McGeever and Bobby the Stump Morris Jr. If you, the reason why we call him the Stump, he ain't grown in three years, but he's still <laughs> phenom. I love him to death. But uh, they, they double-dipped uh, a new team that is on the rise. They have finished in the top in about every tournament they played here lately in North Carolina. And you're going to have to watch out for these two guys. And Josh Holland is another young guy. That is Derek Holland, the machine's son. And uh, he teamed up with Corey Vitamin C Shook. And uh, they were in the winner's bracket, uh, won the winner's bracket, put Bobby and Kobe in the loser's bracket. But Bobby and Kobe fought their way through and won – Double dipping to win the doubles championship at ACL National Number Two, and uh, a big shout out to Five O Shane Harrelson for all the help he did that day. And we had the, we had the grills cooking out in the back, 
and we had the beer flowing. Sam Adams, Twisted Tea, Angry Orchard it was all there. Everybody was drinking those and, and having a good time. We had a bunch of great pictures. You can check out the pictures at iplayacl.com, national event number two. And, uh, and uh, we can't look, we're looking forward to number three, who's also going to be in North Carolina. We'll talk about that shortly. But, Ryan, well, tell, tell us about the state. Can you give us some standings of what's going on <laughs> in the ACL right now? Geez, I thought you would never ask. So how about real quick? Uh, well, real quick, before I go down the list, because I know they all, we always have to uh, – we want to throw it out there so people know. Tell us how the scoring works real fast. Well, the, uh, the scoring is you, – you, all right, it's six – Oh, it's still sometimes confusing to me. But here, here it is. You got six nationals, and you can play six regionals, and and get and you are qualified as long as you're a twenty five dollar paid member. You are qualified to play in Cobb's, no problem. Even if you're not, even if you don't play any regional at all, you can still come to Cobb's in July and play. But everybody who is played six has got every advantage over you. You, you're 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 in the you know you're in the back seat looking for looking for a crumb okay hopefully some you know so there's no reason and now we're starting in January we're here in January so we are at your minimum okay you have six regionals left that you can play in all right so if you're not play if you're not playing in any regionals find one in your area the close one to you and start playing your regionals because you have from now to June to get it done. You got six to do. Now, you don't have to have just six regionals. You can also have four regionals and two nationals. Some people's already played in two nationals. If you finish higher than you did in the other two, you'll bump one off and you take your two highest scores in the nationals. You take your two high you take your six highest in the uh in the in the regionals. But your nationals are gonna be higher than your regionals, so you wanna get a couple nationals in because you'll get more points playing nationals. So it's, it's very important to come out and play if you want to go to, to Cobbs, Cherokee, because, you know, you, you want those points because the top 64, top 64 points will be elite players. That's our top of the cream of the crop for the year of 2016-17. You will be a elite first time, first full season, ACL elite player, which you're uh, – your uh, ACL Elite jersey will come from e3sports.com, and you can put up to five sponsors on that jersey. And I do believe f- a few of them at the top are free. And then I think the most it's going to cost you is 50 bucks. So, I mean, if you're going to play, you might as well go get out there and play now. And this is also, you know, for your directors. If you haven't pl- had any regionals yet, well, it's time to uh, – Excuse get going. Life. Make some. Uh, get some schedules going there, buddy. Let's get some you events. Know what you're about to say, don't you? I did. You know, That's get right. Off the pot, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's time or get off the pot. Right, sure period. it is. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you don't want to run a regional and somebody in your area get does, out. guess what? Bye. You next. I mean, we need them done. So yes. if you want to run a regional in your area and somebody's not running regionals in your area, then by all means, you let us know right now, and we will. Uh, we'll make it happen. Uh, we can get ready to start one in Roanoke, Virginia, here in January with Chad Crouch. Chris Abernathy and crew down in Alabama is doing Alabama, Georgia. They're starting in January. So it's not too late to start, but you've got to start now. Yeah, so, and you've got to want to do it, too. So, yeah, if you need any of those that scoring information or anything like that, check out iPlayACL.com. But real quick, how about some updated standings? Here's our top ten for the singles right now. Uh, number one is Allen Rockwell. Number two is Do Rag. See, that's what's neat. We're like the XFL. You pull whatever yep. you want, man. He Rag. hate me. Do Rag. It don't matter. You pull whatever you want right. on that so, name. Sounds <laughs> Uh Number three, we got Terry Steitem. Number four is Seth Udy. Number five is Jeremiah Dupont. Six Robert Reynolds. Seven Derek Holland. Eight Ronnie Coates. All capital letters. Number nine Brian Lynn. And number ten is Eric Ryder. Now, real quick, let me give you the overall standings here, and you're gonna. These are different. Uh, number one again, Alan Rockwell. Number two, Do Rag. Number three, Seth Udy. Number four, Terry Steitem. Number five, Robert Reynolds. Number six, Jordan Camba. Number seven, Derek Holland. Number eight, James Baldwin. Number nine, Joe Tatter. And number ten, Brian Lynn. Any names on those lists that surprise you, up or down, or anything like that? Well, you know, the biggest, you know, the, the biggest surprise out there is a good friend of mine, Robert Reynolds. And 
And, and the reason why he, he, you know, he's played at every event that we've had to play except for Ohio major, uh, national. So everyone except for the Ohio national, he's played in every one. So he's, he's pretty much maxed out. So you're going to start seeing people fall into place now that we've gotten six out of the way and we got six left and, and people are going to start falling into place. Uh, you know, it, the overall points are everything that you do, your doubles points, uh, your singles points, and your local points, if you play any local tournaments, it all factors in together. So that's your overall standing points. So uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I've looked at a lot of it, and Jordan Camba, uh, who won the national, uh, I believe he's finished first in almost every region he's played in. So if he continues that streak and wins another national, He'll be maxed out. I don't know if anybody can touch him after that. So it's you know it's what's one of those things. If you win six, if you know if you win two nationals and and four regionals, I mean you can't get no higher. So <laughs> except for your, you know except for your you know you add in your points on your local tournaments. But so uh, you know and Jordan Cam is funny. He he's going to turn twenty one like the week before. Good uh, timing. Uh, yeah. So uh, and he he he's a he's an awesome player. So. Uh, but yeah, I, it's going to it's going to be interesting to see over the next three or four months how this list will change because I believe you'll start seeing players who haven't played in a lot of regionals and that haven't played in a national yet when they start getting involved and start playing and saying, all right, I got to get my butt together and let's go. Holidays are over. It's time to make that push for Cherokee. But right now is the time that you need to start making that push to get into Cherokee. And uh, the way to do that. Is to play. We've dropped prices on, on the national coming up. We've dropped prices on some regionals. So you know, we, we hear what you're saying. If you're saying it's too much, it's too expensive, it's too high. Well, I don't, I don't know what else we can do. Okay, we pay you. We pay you to play. You come. You get an eighty percent payout. You know, you say it's too high. We drop the price. I mean, what in the hell do you want us to do? Well, I mean, now you know what happens is is you. You drop how much it costs to play, and then when the payout's less, people get upset. It's like, well, you I know, don't know simple what, math well, here. You can, you can go play in another uh, organization or whatever and not get paid anything. Yeah, how's so that sound? I don't know what you want me to do. I'm doing everything I can do. That's all up to you. Now it's time for you to get off your butt and show up and play. Yeah, not absolutely. Right. Not you, Ryan. Yeah. I'm, just, I'm venting. I'm venting. Let it out. I don't Let know what out. else I can do to get people into the place to play. I don't know what else I can do. Oh, hey, listen, you know, sometimes you can, like they say, you can lead a horse to water, but blah, 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 can't make him drink and all that good stuff. And, no, but you can shoot him if you don't. Yeah, you can. <laughs> that is totally with the year. If you don't, yeah, you're right. Yeah, but no, not that we're I saying we're not going to, I mean, we're not going to. I would never do that. Chris would never pull a gun on you if you did not play cornhole. No, no, absolutely not. No. I would hope not. So, <laughs> so we I'll always talk. talk. I will never pull a toy gun on you if you don't play corn. Right. Uh, uh, well, let's kidding. see. Okay, so we've we've been doing this now I for. Just, I just want to know what I can. What else? I just don't know what else I can do to get people to show up. I really don't know what else I can do. We're paying you money. <laughs> so you're getting a payout. I mean, if we're dropping the price. I mean, really? You know, what else can I do? I well, don't know what else I can do. I know this. We've been doing this for about. 20 minutes this episode and we're not allowed in Pakistan anymore and you know we know what you'll do if you don't drink <laughs> so how about this because you know we have those six events and you always talk about that road to Cherokee so how about that the schedule came out for the 2017 championship of bags and once again it's going to be at Harris Cherokee Casino Resort July 18th through the 22nd this year uh, there's plenty going on. Uh, they got some good deals on rooms and everything. So we got the whole list here. So give us a rundown of the championship of bags 2017. All right. Well, we're, of course, we're going to be at Harris Cherokee again, Casino Resort. It will be aired on ESPN3 by you and myself. We will be the uh, the co-host, the uh, announcers, the gurus, or whatever you want That's to call just us. You. Uh, I'm just to, I'm just here to make sure we come back from commercial at the right time. <laughs> well, July 18th through the 22nd, that's going to be Tuesday through Saturday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you can get a room at Harris, $100 a night. 
which is great. They're usually about two months. So yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, you can get a room at Harris Cherokee through July 18th, 19th, and 20th for a hundred dollars a night. Uh, now after that, it goes up to normal price cause it is the weekend, you know, that's where they make their money. Yep. So, uh, the great partnership of, uh, Her- uh Cher- Harris Cherokee and other sponsors, sponsors will be coming on board with us this season will exceed $50,000 in prize money for all the events. All right. ACL players and fans can expect initial schedule events to be released. Uh, we already have re- uh, re- uh, released it. Uh, so minim- minimum of $30,000 in total guaranteed prize money to be split between open division and singles, $20,000, and doubles, $10,000. Uh, singles and doubles events will also be for competitive, and they will be for uh, social divisions. We were also going to have a minimum of four eight-bag challenges, uh, and, and prizes will be given away as far as a free entry into the main event. For the singles and the eight bag challenge, we're going to do. Uh, I believe we're going to do a free roll in, on Tuesday. The first two hundred and fifty six players who show up and are members, the first two fifty six, you will be invited to play in a blind draw eight bag challenge. Now these, it's you just just show up. I mean, I can explain it to you, but I'll probably confuse you at the same time. But the eight bag challenge, you got. Eight bags, and they look like pool balls. They got a number on them, one each. We played it at the Nationals. Everybody's played it. We had a great turnout playing it at the Nationals in this past one. And uh, you you throw whatever lands on the board. If the one lands on the board, it's a one. If it goes in the hole, it's three. So whatever the number on the bag is, it, the, on the board is that amount of the value of the bag. If it's in the hole, it's three times. You have to throw them one through eight uh, in success, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And uh, you can get up to 108 points, and we had it maxed out at the last national by Jamie Graham. Ever first time ever seen it maxed out at 108. So you're gonna have a blind draw, uh, four man team, and you're gonna every one of you is gonna throw an eight bag challenge, total up all the scores, and do it in a tournament situation. And uh, it's gonna be fun. And there's gonna be a thousand dollars on the line, and it's not gonna cost you a dime to play. So. Come on out Tuesday. Go and get there early. Take advantage. Of, go and take a vacation now for July 18th through 22nd. Go ahead and get in there and uh, and play. We're going to have Def Championship. We're going to have Def Cornhole Championships. Uh, man, there's going to be mixed doubles, uh, juniors division, women's division, seniors, singles. And I just don't know what to tell you. If you don't like playing cornhole, don't show up because your bar is going to fall off by the time you get done. Plus, we're going to have blind draws all the time. Huh, man, and then you're gonna, you know, and that's, huh. and there, it's just gonna be a, fun, and then you know what what the finals is gonna be like. It's just gonna be phenomenal, like it was last year. Giving out all this money, nobody gives out this money. Nobody, nobody is on ESPN three but us. So, like I said before, I don't know what else I can do to get you out on the board throwing cornhole for us. <laughs> Absolutely, and again, that's gonna be July 18th through the 22nd. At Harris Cherokee Casino Resort down in North Carolina, check out iPlayACL.com for all the details. But you can't really get there unless you get through these other national events. And we got some other ones coming up, too. Uh, we got one, the uh, ACL National number 3. We also got uh, Norfolk uh, National March 3rd. Phoenix National March 11th. Vegas is coming up. Uh, we got a date coming up probably around the end of April. Uh, a lot going on. So tell us about some of these upcoming events. Well, Vegas has been confirmed. Oh, so, I'm behind. Oh, no, yeah, it has. I actually wrote it down on my work schedule. <laughs> Vegas is confirmed, and uh, this is for everybody out there who is who's going to Vegas. Uh, go ahead and start booking your flights. And uh, I've I've heard from a couple of people from your from your way in Ohio that they found a pretty good deal for four, uh, four nights and uh, and hotel four nights hotel and round trip ticket for pretty great price like under 400 bucks well don't forget so, they want you to go out to vegas their idea so, is to not to keep you away from vegas right exactly <laughs> so you're gonna be able to get some good deals going to vegas and it's gonna be april 27th it'll start on the friday it will start on friday and then it will go through sunday so we're gonna try to be done but wait a minute 28 29 i don't know it's that weekend it's friday Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. 28, 29, 30th, 27, 28, 29, whatever that weekend is, Friday through Sunday, and we're going to try to finish it up on Sunday by 
five o'clock so everybody can go ahead and book a late flight on Sunday to go home with a red eye, whatever. Or get partying. Get the, uh, so, so just so you know, go ahead and plan your flight to after five o'clock on Sunday. And, uh, and then that way you, you'll go ahead and, uh, you'll be, uh, straight up ready to go. But it's going to be, that's April. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful time of year, April 27th, 28th, 29th, whatever the three days are. I can't remember. But I think it might be 28, 29, 30. I think that might be it. I don't know. So now that one's coming up in April. And then March is going to be a huge tournament in Norfolk, Virginia. We are, we are teaming up with, with a gentleman named Bruce who does a great job uh, promoting uh, a charity. It's a charity tournament as well. And it's, it's going for a cornhole for cancer. And uh, this is going to be a, an excellent, excellent tournament. There's going to be a lot of people there. As soon as we open registration, I suggest you get registered fast because it's not just going. I mean, it's people, you know, for the for the for the tournament, for the calls. ESPN three will be there. We'll be there. We'll be doing the uh, doing the uh, broadcast from from this tournament. So this is a big time tournament, and uh, you better get in quick whenever we release this information. And look forward to future uh, ACL throwdowns for more information on this coming up March third and fourth. All right. Also, uh, March eleventh is going to be in Phoenix, Arizona. If you want to go out and get a little get a little suntan in the middle of March, man, head on out to Phoenix, Arizona. All the details will be coming up for that just as soon as we can get them all nailed down and ready for you. And the next one, that's right, there will not be one in February, but the next one will be January 20th and 21st right here in Lexington, North Carolina. And the reason why it's in Lexington, North Carolina, we had a snafu and, uh, you know, you do what you got to do and we did what we had to do. So, yes, I know it's two in North Carolina. Sorry about that, but that's where we're from. We know more people here than we know anywhere else. So that's where we got it. So it's in Lexington at Bull City Cider Works. It's a craft brewery place. They're going to bring a food truck in. Uh, they don't sell domestic beer, just so everybody knows. It's craft beer, but I don't know about that's you. Fine. Guys, but two craft beers to me is a six-pack of domestic. Yeah, that's called just saving money. Yeah, the way I feel anyway. And I believe it's going to be $4 drafts all day on Saturday. For a craft beer? That's like yeah. unbelievably a good deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. $4 yeah. pint. Craft beer all day. Bring a 20, so, you'll be good. Yeah, yeah, you won't need them. Mm -hmm. You'll be fucking stupid, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be held, and we're going to do Friday night as well. We're going to do the same as we did last time, crew cup, alternate throw, register when you get there. Uh, Saturday, all right, this here's something we're doing a little different this time. We're trying to get the deck around involved into our tournaments. So this is how we're getting the deck around involved. First 50 who sign up for this tournament will automatically go to the Open 64 main bracket. Just so everybody knows, the first 50, I believe, is done or very, very, very close. So I'm going to just say that it's done, and this is what's going to happen. When you sign up for the ACL National Number 3 in Lexington, when you come, you can come Friday night and do it Friday night, or you can do it Saturday morning from 8 to about 9.15 or so. We're going to start this tournament at 10 o'clock on Saturday. So you need to get it done. So Friday night, you can come. If you come in Friday night, you can do it Friday night, or you can do it first thing Saturday morning. That's the first thing we're going to do is try to get these deck rounds on the way. All right, what you're going to do is you're going to come in, you're going to grab four, you're going to take your four bags. By the way, just so everybody knows, the, uh, the list for uh, approved bag makers will come out real soon. Uh, Stacy's going to get that out for you soon, so you can go ahead and buy you a set. I believe we might have some there. If you need some, you can go to allcornhole.com right now and get the uh, seamed and seamless ACL uh, uh, the ACL bags. So uh, you can do that as well, and uh, the list will be coming out pretty soon. A lot of people know who's on the list already, but uh, we're going to announce that list real soon, so you'll know in January what you can bring. So you bring your bags in, you have them, you know, whatever. You know, ten. Ten rounds, ten, five rounds, ten up, up and downs, four bags, and you throw it in, and you you know uh, whatever your score is, we'll write it down. So I mean, if you throw a twelve, ten times, you're gonna have 120. Can't get no better than that. So whatever your score is, we're gonna write it down beside your name. After everybody who wants to throw, who is not in the first 50, after everybody who wants to throw to get into the open 64. We're going to cut it off, 
The top 14, it can be tied points, it don't matter. The top 14 players on that list will fill out that 64 bracket. Everybody else will go down to the competitive bracket, which is still paying out 65%. To uh, you know, and and it's going to be a strong bracket as well. So it don't matter which bracket you're in; you're going to have tough competition. You're going to, have to fight through for the money. But uh, we're going to give you a chance to get in that open 64 by qualifying, throwing a deck around. Reason why we want people to start. We you know we we you know, the app guys, app design app, app design geeks didn't make all this great technology for us not to use. Yeah, so right. This, yeah, eight bag challenge. Deck around. It's time to uh, put them in. We got it. Nobody else does. You know, it's our technology, and we're going to use it. So get signed up. Go to iplayacl.com backslash national events list. Registration is open and ready for you to sign up now. And just be ready to come throw that deck around. You can practice at the house. Download the app, the ACL app on your smartphone. The deck around. Put your... Uh, Put your uh, name, your email address, and your password. If you don't know it, contact me, and I'll get it for you. <laughs> I don't know what else I can do. If I hold your hand and, you know, and throw yeah, for you. Yeah, you can throw so, it for me. Yeah. I mean, I'll do whatever I can do. So yeah, I'm here to help you. So that's what we want you to do. So real quick, before we end this episode here, the first one of 2017, uh, you brushed over that the, uh, the bag manufacturer is coming out this month. Uh, it says here at the main event, all bags used will have to be stamped appropriately. And this is for uh, basically, so it's not about money or anything. It's just for the long-term health growth of the sport, uh, giving players a choice of bags they're using, encouraging innovation of bags by manufacturers. So, you know, just make sure you check out the list and get your approved bags. That's right. And make sure that you, when you get those approved bags, they do have a stamp on them. Because if you bought a set of bags that didn't have a stamp on them, but they're on an approved list, if they don't have the stamp, you're not going to be able to use them in our tournaments. Okay? Yeah, I mean, I know. I'm sorry if you bought them before they stamped them. That's not, you know, I'm sorry. But now they're, they're going to be stamped. We're going to measure them. We're going to weigh them. We're going to look at them. We're going to make sure that, that they meet the spec of the bag that was sent in to us from the bag, bag maker. So they sent us a bag so we can actually – uh, check it. We don't want anybody cheating. And we know that's the biggest thing people won't worry about. If you bring your own bags, people are going to cheat. People are going to do that. If you're caught cheating, you're banned. No money. Bye. You're done. You don't play for us no more. So there's no, no advantage for you to cheat because you're not going to play for ACL when you do. So the main thing. Oh, also the Cobbs. One more time for the Cobbs. We're also going to have a 64, top 64 elite player blind draw on Tuesday night so that everybody who finishes in the top 64 by playing your regionals and your nationals if you are an elite player at the end when we go to when we go to Cherokee you're invited to play in a 64 man blind draw tournament all elite players that should be phenomenal so I'm sorry I hate to get off but I, no that's I, fine so all right before we wrap this one up let me ask you this what was your favorite Christmas gift you got huh uh, hmm. I don't know. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you what. Yeah, and this this probably don't sound like me, but the the best Christmas gift I got this year was being able to spend it with my dad, that I haven't been able to spend the last 23 with. So to have him, me and him went on a short church tour. Uh, Christmas Eve we went to the Baptist church and the Lutheran church for both programs. And then Sunday morning, we got up and went to our church, Methodist Church, for our program. And just having him and spending the time, the close time with him, was was How about yours, right? Hey, I'll say this, you know, hearing something like that, and, and, you know, everybody always says something to the effect of, well, let me put it this way. There's always some kid out there who's upset that they didn't get an Xbox. And to hear what you said, it just actually gives you a little reminder that the holidays are actually about family and seeing people you care about. Because it is hard for the majority of the year to get people together. So even put your little Xbox aside, or the putter I got, which I enjoyed, by the way. That was probably my favorite <laughs> gift was the putter. But 
that aside, I mean, it is actually about spending time with family and friends and everything like that. So I'm glad that 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 happened for you. I think that's really great. Yeah, I know. I know. Probably people don't expect me to say that. But... No, I know you got a heart. Don't let it. I, you can't fool me, pal. I've seen you too many times. <laughs> But it's it's like this, man. I, I, you always, I always have been the type of person that, you know, no matter no matter what's happened to me in the future and what I've done, I mean, I I know where my heart is, and, and I am saved, and and I do believe, and and uh, and it's not my birthday, and Christmas is Jesus's birthday, and that's what we should uh, observe it as. It's Jesus's birthday. I know it's the Santa Claus and all that stuff, but to me, you know, you, you got to do it for the right reasons, and uh, and. And I feel like I did this year, and I'm very, very happy that I did. Good. Very, very good. All right. Well, it's your time. You know what you have to say. Well, coming up, Lexington. Lexington, North Carolina. Bull City Cider Water. January 20, 21st. All I got to say is get registered at iplayacl.com backslash national events list. You know why I say that? Why? Because you got to get in where you fit in and throw it down. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Chris. We'll talk to you next time. Don't forget, check out E3Sports.com, iPlayACL.com, and, of course, allcornhole.com. We'll talk to you next time for the throwdown. Ryan Alessio and Chris Meacham. We're out.